Liam, welcome to Bristol Rovers. Uh, are, you, are you pleased to be here after? Uh, we, we don't know how long the discussions went on before you, you, you made your mind up. Um, yeah, it was. Um, I'd spoke to the gaffer um, nearly two weeks ago. Um, you know, I'd, I'd spoke to Shrewsbury and obviously knew that. Um, I think it was time for me to move on. So um, I spoke to my agent. I spoke to a couple of people and I spoke to the gaffer here and. Uh, we tried to get something done as quick as we could. You mentioned the gaffer. He's someone you know very well, isn't he, from your time at Mansfield? Yeah, I've, not, I've known him years. He, he was um, someone that brought me through when I, when I was at Mansfield and looked after me when I was a YT there. So I've learned a lot from him already and hopefully I can learn some more along the way now. Yeah, Craig Disley was a member of that uh, YT setup at Mansfield as well and you had a good team, didn't you? Yeah, we did. We had some good young players. Um, there was me, Diz, Bobby Assel, who was at Barnsley for years. Uh, my mate Williamson, who was at Blackburn and stuff, and uh, we were quite successful as a as a young group in in that team. That was only must have been only a young pro himself. He he got a number of games very early in his career. Did you ever see him as management material? He did. He he, he played. I think he was about seventeen or, or something, eighteen when he when he was playing, and he was a regular at eighteen, nineteen. So um, I think that's why he's got quite a few games under his belt. Um, at that time, I wouldn't have said he would have. He would have been a, a, a gaffer one day, but you know, football's football. Weird things happen in football, and you know, he's doing a, a fantastic job here. Um, he's well respected, and you know, he's got a funny side to him, which everyone loves, and you know, he likes his teams to work hard. Uh, have you kept in touch with him over the years as well? Yeah, I've I've, I've kept in touch with him um, every now and again. You know, when I, when I was. When he was living down there, we, we used to speak a little bit. So, you've had uh, quite a good career. I've, when you when you look back on paper, you played uh, with Marcus Stewart as well at Sunderland. Didn't you? Yeah, played with, with Stewart Sunderland. We had a good couple of years together there. We had a promotion there and, and played in the Premier League. So, um, I know them both quite well, and I'm looking forward to working with them. You played at Stoke as well. I think there were a few Rovers connections as well there. I think Jerry France is probably one of them. Yeah, Jerry was there. Yeah. Um, Tony Pulis brought him in and you know he did a bit of work with our strikers and midfielders and, and stuff and used to go and watch a lot of teams and come back and give us his take on, on teams we'd play against. I, I, I like Jerry, he was a good bloke. And you, you've played, after Stoke, you, you, you moved down to Portsmouth and they had obviously financial troubles and then a couple, uh, you, you went to Greece as well. What, what sort of experience was that? Um, yeah, it was a good experience. It was something that opened my eyes to, to a lot of things, to different styles and different cultures. But um, the football was good. I played in Europe and, and stuff like that. So and eventually I came, came back. Yeah, so what can Rovers fans expect from you, the, um, the player? The player, just, you know, I, I, I've got a lot of experience. Um, I'm a winner um, and I want to do well. You know, I was 34 a couple of weeks ago, so there's still, there's still petrol in the tank yet and, you know, fire in the belly. So hopefully I can bring something to the table and, and help them get promoted. Do you still have that enthusiasm for the game that you must have had early in your career? Yeah, I do. You know, I've, I've always been a winner and, you know, I hate losing even in training and stuff like that. So, you know, the, the, the fans will see that I've got that side to me. And what about if Daryl took you under his wing, I think, when you said when, when you were a young player, do you have the same effect with young players? Do you actually give them the benefit of your advice and experience? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because I, I, I think it's important, you know, young lads coming through, I think that they need to know uh, the values and the ins and outs of the game and you know if I get to know some of the young lads here which I'm sure I will I'll, I'll help them along the way. You've got so I think four promotions on your CV. Five is it? Five, is it? Five? Five? I don't know. Anyway there was one was last counting. year, my most recent one is last year mm -hmm. for Shrewsbury so what do you think it might take to get out of this division? Um, yeah I know I know it well from, from last year as you say and you know it, it's just about grinding results out at this stage of the season um, obviously with the pitches how they are and the weather and stuff like that it's, it's not all about you know, passing teams off the park and playing attractive football, it's just about purely results. So if, if we can start stringing results together and keep keep this run going that we're, that we're on, it'll be, it'll be an interesting end to the season. Rovers are handily placed as we we were into the second half of the season now. I mean, do you really, does Daryl convince you that this is a side that could be on the up? Yeah, you know, I, I, I've spoke to him and Stewie there this morning and, you know, there's a real sense that the, the club's going somewhere, so... You know, I'm, I'm glad to come and be a part of that and hopefully I can help. And uh, first game, if selected, Barnet yeah. on Saturday, one to look forward to, your, your debut for another club? Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I can't wait to, to train with the lads tomorrow.
Just looking at your, your goal record over the years, I think you're, you're not too far short of 100 senior goals, are you? Seven, I think, or if yeah. the records are correct. Is yeah. that something you'd like to achieve by the end of the season? Yeah, well, yeah, you know, uh, if, I'm, if I play and stuff and I get my chances, hopefully, from, from midfield, I, I can add a couple of goals. So, as you say, I'm near the 100 mark, but just the wins are the most important thing at this stage for me. Daryl says you can play anywhere across the middle, whether it's a two or three or a four. Have, have yeah. you got a preference yourself? Uh, anywhere, I can play anywhere. You know, I, I, I started my career as a centre mid and I was moved to the right at Mansfield for a number of years where, where it stuck with me, to be honest. But you know, I, I never had pace, even when I was younger. I just the, All the pace was in here. So um, I, I play in the middle and, and we'll see what happens.